in the Bantamweight division at UFC Vegas at 98. You got Dan Argueta, first newcomer out of the Contender Series this season. Make no mistake, Cody Haddon is coming. And this is going to be an interesting prediction. It always is when you get a newcomer into the UFC. So let's get to it. Argueta, 9-2. and two. Uh, Cody Haddon, 7-1. And one, so you got USA versus Australia. Both guys stay on 5'7. Argueta 31, Haddon 26. Haddon's got a one inch reach advantage, 69 to 68. He stands right handed. Argueta stands left handed. Now, Haddon at, at the contender series, so this is just in one fight, landed eight and a half significant strikes per minute. That's ridiculous. Argueta over a few more fights, 2.2 significant strikes per minute. So already, you know, we can tell that. Haddon's going to be the better striker. Make no mistake about it. Now, the takedown game for both guys is legit. They both land well over one takedown, well, really a takedown and a half per round. So you're looking at potentially eight takedowns if both guys have their way throughout this fight. So some of this fight's going to play out on the ground. But, you know, Cody, Cody Haddon might have a major advantage on the feet right, where normally he's going to want to get those takedowns. And if he feels comfortable, that's what he's going to do, right? But in this one, when you're landing a lot more significant strikes than your opponent, do you really want to go to the ground? Maybe, because he probably has all the confidence in the world there. But then you also look at, like, in the, in the stand-up, I'm just going to take him, take him apart. So I like Cody Haddon to win this fight either way. I mean, this is a, a guy that looked good at the contender series that I remember saying at the time is going to be a a solid prospect for the UFC, and uh, I look for him to win this fight, you know. And Dan Argueta is a tough fighter, right, but he struggled lately. He had two no contests. Uh, he had the loss to Gene uh, Masumoto by submission, right, so there again. And and Argueta had nine takedowns in that fight and still lost by submission, so Haddon might be saying, I don't care about the strike game. I'm just going to go in there and take him down, so we'll see. But Dan Argueta has, hasn't had a win against Nick, uh, since Nick Aguirre uh, back in January 2023. So it's been almost two years by fight time. Cody Haddon uh, submitted Billy Brand by rear in the first round and led 27-9. to nine. So, you know, we didn't get to see a lot of the, of the stand-up game because this fight only lasted three minutes. But you could tell Cody can get the job done on the feet or take the fight to the ground. So it's really whatever he wants to do. I just like him to win uh, this fight, hopefully by finish, right? I want to see the guy from the Contender Series come in, get the finish, and uh, start working your way slowly up the ladder. But he'll do that, in my opinion. He'll get the win. Bantamweight division, one of many coming out of the Contender Series. In my opinion, he moves to 8-1 and one here at UFC Vegas 98.